Lil Uzi Vert, Dua Lipa, and Drake have big weeks on the charts. And Taylor Swift and Ariana urge fans to be safe amid the coronavirus outbreak. These are your top stories for Monday, March 16th. Yes, everybody, we are still in the box as Roddy Rich's hit logs a 10th week on top of the Billboard Hot 100. If this feels like deja vu, well, it's the first song to reign for double digit weeks since Lil Nas X's Old Town Road led for a record 19 last year. And only time will tell how long we will be on this journey. But that's not the only big Hot 100 news. Drake and Future's Life is Good drops to number three after eight weeks at number two on the chart and has been replaced in the runner up spot by Dua Lipa. Don't show don't come out. Don't, stop Don't Start Now lifts from number three to a number two Hot 100 high as it also hits number one on radio songs, becoming the pop singer-songwriter's first leader on that list. Dua is showing no signs of stopping now. But this week might belong most to Lil Uzi Vert. <laughs> Drake also had a massive milestone accomplishment on the Hot 100 chart this week. He earns his landmark 208th appearance, the record for the most entries ever, thanks to the collaborative effort with Lil Yachty and the baby, Oprah's bank account. Diamond in the rough, you look as good as Oprah's bank account. Congrats, Drake. And amidst the worldwide pandemic that is coronavirus, music's biggest names have been speaking out to fans, and Jordan in New York has more. Lady Gaga, Taylor Swift, and Ariana Grande all have a message for those ignoring coronavirus concerns, despite the president's declaration of a national emergency. On Saturday, Gaga shared a photo on Instagram captioned, It's not the easiest for everyone right now, but the kindest, healthiest thing we can do is self-quarantine and not hang out with people over 65 and in large groups. I wish I could see my parents and grandmas right now, but it's much safer to not so I don't get them sick in case I have it. The stupid love singer closed her note with, I love you world, we'll all get through this. Trust me, I talked to God. She said we're going to be okay. On Sunday, Taylor took to her IG stories, writing, I'm seeing lots of get-togethers and hangs and parties still happening. This is the time to cancel plans. Actually, truly isolate as much as you can, and don't assume that because you don't feel sick that you aren't possibly passing something on to someone elderly or vulnerable to this. The lover artist concluded, It's a really scary time, but we need to make social sacrifices right now. Thank you. Meanwhile, Ariana shared her own PSA on Twitter. The Thank You Next singer wrote, I keep hearing from a surprising amount of people statements like, this isn't a big deal, we'll be fine, we still have to go about our lives, and it's really blowing my mind. The we will be fine because we're young mindset is putting people who aren't young and or healthy in a lot of danger. You sound stupid and privileged, and you need to care more about others, like now. In a separate tweet, she added, your hip hop yoga class can effing wait, I promise. Definitely going to be listening to that advice. Keep it locked on Billboard.com for all your updates. Running it down for you always, I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News.